What is up, Cast Masters? Um, today, I'm going to bring you a new series. First episode, we're going to call it Trash Fish or Delish, where we take the most foul, nasty trash of the sea, lakes, from anywhere. Things that get a bad rep, and we're going to put them to the test, see if the nastiness lives up to their reputation. On today's menu, we got some uh, Jack Cravel. We caught these on Thursday, and today's Monday, and it's just been sitting in my refrigerator, so. So as I said, on today's menu, Jack Crevel, some of the hardest fighting fish, fun fish to catch, but I've just heard all bad things about them. I've never heard one person say this thing's good, so what I did was I cut out all of the red meat, all of the bloodline. As you can see here, when I say uh, bloodline and red meat, it's all this red meat towards the skin. Like, I had to cut all of that out. But, like, towards the body and towards the bones and stuff like this, the meat's actually pretty good. And the meat up in the head was actually surprisingly pretty white. So, uh, as you see here, there's a whole bunch of red meat that I cut out. All the skin and the red meat. I'm going to have to rinse that off. So, I have one pinkish, gamey-looking filet. And uh, for this one... I soaked it in some uh, lemon juice and salt water and some water and uh, it actually looks not too bad it took a lot of the red color out it cooked it a little bit so this is how I'm expecting this to look when it's cooked so it was about a let's say five pound Jack Crevel uh, if you get them smaller I bet they taste better but we're gonna see how this tastes so I'm gonna get back to you for the first way I'm going to cook this, I'm going to try frying it. I'm going to bread it in some seasoning and breadcrumbs and uh, stick it in the fryer. It's actually flour, not breadcrumbs. And I'm just going to tell you this now. The smell was absolutely horrible. It was super bad. The meat looked super bad while it was frying. So I was not very optimistic about this. It actually didn't look like the breading didn't look too bad. All right, guys, it's done frying right now. I had decided to fry some up, and it's just fresh out of the fryer. It's pretty hot. It uh, ah, it's burning my hand, but it uh, really has a nice, bad, dark color to it. Like that does not look appealing. It's probably going to be pretty fishy. I got some frying right there. I might have to turn those over. So uh, I'm gonna give it a quick taste test. I'm not too looking forward to this, but. I am fixing some more some other ways, so it might be better. I don't know. Oh. Alright guys, I just got some uh, of the jack in the oven with some butter and uh, salt and pepper. And I, I gotta tell you, if you're catching jack and you have to keep it, don't fry it at all. It turned out to be this really unappealing grayish color. It uh, just tastes horrible. It has a like an unexpected like sweetness to it. Like it's not a good sweetness either. It's it's like it just tastes. It tastes how it smells. Like if you go up, you smell a jack, you catch one, smell your hands afterwards. That's exactly how it tastes. Except multiply that by about ten times worse. So. It's, it's pretty bad. I'm going to try one of these uh, fillets that I soaked in uh, lemon juice and salt water. And uh, I don't think this will be too much better. Still very dark meat. Smells absolutely disgusting. Here it goes. Yeah, that's bad. I can already tell how this video is gonna go out. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a trash fish, cause that is some bad fish. I've seen people keep these like on the jetties and stuff. I don't know if they use them for shark bait or for freaking to eat them, but I'm not keeping any of these again. Even if one's baking in the oven back there, do taste good. There's no way. All right, guys, I just had a great idea. I thought of something to do with this jack. It'll probably make it taste better, but let's do it.
Alright guys, so just took the fresh, delicious jack out of the oven. And uh, it still has that freaking grayish, not as bad as fried, but it still has that dry, gray, fishy looking kind of meat. I did fix myself some french fries, because if worse comes to worse, I'm going to have me some papas fritas. So, I'm going to see what the inside looks like. It's very, The texture of this is actually not too bad. See, my fork will sink right into it. It's actually pretty flaky, but still... It, that is just revolting. Look at that. I am going to do a taste test just for you guys. But I'm not looking forward to it. Here's a taste test of the baked Jack Crevel. I'm not expecting this to be any better. So, it's a piece right here. I'm going to try to swallow it this time. Don't eat these fish, guys. That's bad. Oh, I gotta go brush my teeth or something. It's still in my mouth. All right, Kiwi. Let's see if she likes it. Yes, it's food. You can eat it. It's edible. It's edible. It's edible. Well, maybe not. All right, guys. That's how you know it's bad when a dog will not eat it. It's nasty, huh? Trash fish are delish, huh?